day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Quick Math Tutorials. Today, we are going to learn about subsets of a line. When we say subsets of a line, it is a portion or a part of a line. And these are the line segments and rays. Let's first define what is a line segment or just segment. A line segment is a subset of a line. It is a part of a line consisting of two end points. For example, we have this line that has two points, point A and point B. If we will cut this line from A to B, it gives us a line segment and it has a point A and point B. This is called a line segment since this line segment is part of this line. And as you can remember, a line has no end. It extends in opposite direction. So here it extends in left and it extends in right. However, in our line segment, it has an end. It ends in A and it ends in B. Line segment can be named as, so this is the symbol for line segment, then we have the point or the end points A, B. Or you can interchange the letters, you can start with B, so you have line segment B, A. Another example is, we have this line and it has three points, A, B, and C. Now, we will name the line segment which are part of this line. First, we have this line segment from A to B. So we can name this line segment as line segment AB or you can start with point B so you can have line segment BA. Another line segment which is part of this line is from point B to point C. So you can name this one as line segment BC or you can start with point C so you can have line segment CB. Last line segment is from A up to C. So you can name this one as line segment AC or you can start with point C so you can have line segment CA. Another subset of a line is array. Array is a part of a line that has one end point and extends infinitely in one direction. For example, we have a line that has two points A and B. If we will cut this line from A, it gives us a ray that has two points A and B. As you can remember, a line extends infinitely in opposite direction, so it has no end. However, here in ray, there is one end point and that end point is at point A. And in point B, it extends infinitely. So there is no end point here. Now, if we will cut this line in point B, so it gives us this ray. It has point A and point B. So in this ray, the end point is in point B. Now, in naming a ray, you always start with the end point. So for this first ray, so we have here, the end point is A. So we will start with A. So this is the symbol for ray. So it will be named as ray A, B. It cannot be interchanged or you cannot start with B since B is not the end point here. A is the end point. Therefore, you can only name this one as ray A, B. For our second ray, the end point here is B. So you can name this one as ray B, A. Again, always remember, in naming a ray, you always start with the end point. You cannot interchange the letters. 
Another example of a ray is we have this ray and it has two points P and Q. In naming this ray, we have ray Q P. We start with point Q since point Q is the end point of this ray. So we can name we cannot name this ray as ray P Q since P is not the end point of this ray. Another example of a ray is this ray that has a three points T, E, and S. In naming a ray, we have the ray T, E, where T is the end point, and we also have the ray T up to S, where T is also the end point. We cannot name a ray, we have ray E, S. Since E here is not the end point of this ray, only T is the end point. Now we have opposite rays. Opposite rays are the rays with common end point but extending in opposite directions. For example, we have this line and it has three points A, C, and B. So the opposite rays are the ray B, A. So this is the end point of this ray. And we also have the ray B, C. So in this ray, point B is also the end point. So these two rays are the opposite rays. It's because they have the same or common end point, which is point B, but they extend in opposite directions. For our last example, we are given two lines that intersect at point O, and it has points H, U, S, and E. Now, we will name the line segments, the rays, and the opposite rays, which are part of these two lines. For the line segment, we have the line segment EO, or we have here the line segment E up to O, where the point E and the point O are the endpoints of the line segment. We also have the line segment OU, or you can name this one as UO. Another line segment is the line segment EU, or you can name this one as UE. Another line segment for this line is we have the line segment HO or you can name as OH, where the points H and O are the endpoints of this line segment. Another is the line segment OS, or you can name this one as SO. Last is the line segment HS, or you can start with the line segment SH. Now, for the rays, we have ray O, E, where O is the end point of this ray, and we have the ray O, U, where O is also the end point of this ray. Another ray for this line is the ray O, H, where O is the end point of that ray, and we also have the ray O up to S, where O is the end point of this ray. Now. For the opposite rays, so we have the ray OE and the ray OU. Since they have the common endpoint, which is O, and they extend in opposite direction to point E and to point U. Another opposite rays are the ray OH and the ray OS. So their common endpoint is point O. So to sum it up, the subsets of a line or the part of a line are the line segment and the ray. So a line segment has two endpoints, so we have this one. However, in a ray, it has only one endpoint and on the other side, it extends infinitely. And that ends our quick math tutorials. If you like the video, please click on the like button. 
If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next video, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.